So while the rest of college football is watching Texas A&M wondering if they're set to implode, Jimbo Fisher and the Aggies unleashed the ace from their sleeve yesterday and got in a huge flip as the nation's number two running back per 24-7 sports composite flipped his commitment from Louisville to Texas A&M. Today, we need to break down why Ruben Owens is such a big win for Jimbo Fisher and the Texas A&M Aggies and everything in between. Before we can, as always, y'all know the drill. I need to hear from you. Hop down to the comments, give me a Y for yes or an N for no. Are you surprised that Ruben Owens flipped from Louisville to Texas A&M? And let me know what you're thinking. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification as I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. And if you enjoyed that content, be sure to like and comment down below. But having said all that, let's jump right into this. And I'm going to answer the question I posed in the intro. Are you surprised that he flipped from Louisville to Texas A&M? And while at some level I'm a little bit surprised he flipped, I can't say I'm super surprised, no. And one interesting note about Ruben Owens is I actually got the opportunity to speak with him at a 7-on-7 event earlier this year. And whenever I asked him which institutions he was hearing from the first institution out of his mouth was Texas A&M and he told me he's hearing from them frequently and that backs up all reports after this flip because apparently Jimbo Fisher and Texas A&M well they played the long game and hats off to them because this is a fantastic recruiting win, especially on the day where A-Chain declares for the NFL draft. And Texas A&M fans, if you haven't been around the channel for very long, one thing I've said consistently, I think A-Chain is one of the most underrated football players in all of the nation. Not just running backs, football players. What he does on a week-in, week-out basis simply amazes me. I think he is such a talented prospect. Can't wait to see what the future holds for him. But losing him left a lot of questions, especially when LJ Johnson was in the transfer portal. Where does A&M turn to next? They have a young, talented quarterback, but they need some offense to stack around him. The transfer portal has been unkind to Texas A&M thus far. And in fairness, most of the guys they've lost to the transfer portal have been depth pieces, but inevitably, in a perfect world, you would have liked to have kept a lot of them. Getting in Ruben Owens gives you a clear direction at the running back position, and this guy is a straight-up football player. He is great as a traditional running back, but he is a nightmare to defenses and his ability to be a receiving threat out the backfield, something that we know Texas A&M will utilize. And because of that, I think this is a perfect fit. Ruben Owens was a one-time Texas commit before decommitting from the Longhorns, and finally ending up at Louisville before inevitably being at Texas A&M. And for Tommy Robinson, the running back coach at Texas A&M, what a fantastic win, and this gives him his third five-star running back going along with John Emery Jr. and Stephen Carr. So for Texas A&M, I cannot express enough what a big win this is. Ruben Owens is such a gifted prospect. He is someone that's going to give this Texas A&M offense a bit of an alleviation because of all that he brings to the table. He can be an elite running back. He can be a dangerous weapon in the passing game and I'm very interested to see how Jimbo Fisher and the Aggies utilize him because I think this is a phenomenally gifted player. Five star through and through, top 25 player in high school football, all of which deserving. Can't wait to hear from all of you. Texas A&M now sits as the number 18 recruiting class in the nation with 12 prospects, so they're sitting in a little bit of an interesting range, but with National Signing Day right around the corner and early National Signing Day staring us in the face, it's going to be very interesting to see what Texas A&M does next. Hop down to the comments, let me know what you're thinking. That's it. See ya.